Mexican kitchen. I just finished making that salsa. Tanya has been uh, slow cooking some beans uh, all day uh, in the crock pot. Yeah. And so, um, what are you doing to the beans now, Tanya? I am mashing them up in a pan. We're going to be. I'm going to refry them and make some refried beans. Okay, so what are we doing now? You've mashed the beans pretty well. Yep. So I'm just going to add a little bit of butter in here because I think maybe the butter will help make it a little bit more creamy. Okay. And, um, so you kind of want that a creamy, yeah. creamy texture, right? Yeah. You want them to be smooth. You want to have the. You want to feel that there's maybe some whole beans in it. Not whole, but you know, like pieces of beans. Mm -hmm. You can recognize it, but it's more like a, a, a bean. Well, they actually call it here in Germany uh, at the That's, Mexican restaurant bean mousse, yeah. right? You need to have a little bit of liquid in them um, because they need to be, you know, a little bit not, not so dry, you know? Hmm. You want them to be a little bit liquidy. Or not liquidy, but soft smooth. and smooth the first time I'm making these. So. Jack used to make these from canned beans, but he used milk and he used to cook them for like a really long time. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Hey Jack, if you are watching this video, why don't you um, post your recipe for refried beans in the comments? Yep. See how, they're, they're kind this of dry, is already right? now, yeah, this is already looking much more like refried beans. So you added the butter and kind of the broth from the beans that uh -huh. you're slow cooking. Just a little bit of the broth, yeah. And it's already got that refried consistency now. Now, a I few episodes pretty much done. Yeah. A few episodes ago, you shared with everybody that your first job when you were 15 was working at Taco Bell. Right. How um, how are the beans made? Well, back then, I mean, they, they probably make them differently now. But how did how the did they make done. how did they make the beans at Taco Bell in the 80s? Um. So the here I'm gonna have you taste. Let's see oh, I get what you taste. taste. Yeah. Okay. Do they need salt? Yeah. Salt? They need salt and maybe a little pepper. Okay. But the beans already have um, a flavor. A flavor because they were slow cooked and right. in your secret herbs and spices. Mm-hmm. Um they're not Smooth, smooth, like mm -hmm. I guess how I'm accustomed to refried beans. Mm -hmm. So maybe they need to be smashed a little bit more. Okay, we're back. Tony went to go get some some milk, and we're gonna we're gonna see what the milk does. When our son made refried beans at home, there was milk, and I think he used like butter. They were very fatty those beans, mm -hmm. and then the oil. I think that uh, you're gonna have to. We're gonna have to walk like three miles tomorrow to work off the calories in your beans. That's not the worst thing. No. And as you're adding the milk, what what's happening to the consistency? Is it? Are you noticing? Leave us a comment and let us know what uh, what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. We're really just kind of making these on the fly. We've got. Uh, you know, some good salsa to go with these. And, uh, okay, we're gonna try it again. Oh, you're gonna try it again. What do you think? Mm. Well. What's your opinion about those beans, Tanya? They're, they've got the, more of the consistency now. They just don't have a flavor of refried beans because I didn't cook them. I cooked them with my own spices. Right. Not intentionally for refried beans. So maybe I would have put different spices if I knew I was going to I think do when this. you I think when you make beans, Tanya, you go like to maybe a, a Portuguese palette with, with your beans. Because mm -hmm. you always make you always make Portuguese beans at home. And um no, they're they're delicious. These these refried beans are really delicious, but they have some kind of a whatever flair you added into the. It's the cinnamon stick. Yep. Uh huh. That's exactly what I'm trying to taste. It's cinnamon stick, and it just has a different flair. Yeah. So these are delicious. Now, how um, 
Are you taking them off the yeah. heat? Are I'm they gonna done? Say, yeah, I'm going to take them off. Okay, so we're back. Uh, Tanya's taking the beans out of the pan mm -hmm. and she's put them in a bowl now with the immersion blender. You could use this as a dip for chips yeah. uh, or spread it on top of a, a fried tortilla shell for a tostada. Yep. Or bean you could- burrito. Bean burritos. Yeah, we have uh, yeah. some flour tortillas on hand, don't yep. we? Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, there'll be some uh, bean and cheese burritos in our future tomorrow. Yeah. So this I think would be one extra step uh, that we should add in if we make this again. Uh -huh. And uh, again, if anybody- And I added the salsa, your salsa, so it really changed the flavor of the beans and they do taste much more like Mexican style beans now at this point. Yep. Yeah. So um, I'd say uh, after tasting those beans, those uh, that's a winner right there. Yeah. So um, you'll, uh, you'll type up a recipe card and we'll put this on the video as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. So goodbye again from the Quarantine all Kitchen. Bye. So, bye. Those are Tanya's refried beans. Well, we'll see. Um, <laughs> you didn't really tell us the story of, uh, well, of when Taco Bell, how they make their beans. They would get their beans brought in and then they would be like cooked and whole beans. And so we would have to do what's called drilling the beans. And it had this big drill, look like a drill. And you would sit, we would sit in the cold box and just in the bean container, drill the beans with this big heavy duty metal drill and until you, they were smooth. And you had a certain smoothness, you had to yeah. get a consistency? Mm -hmm. Yep. But the beans came from their their uh, processing plant, like yeah. already cooked. So wherever they come from, they were already made and cooked. And we just had to mash them. Do you remember them. how many pounds were in each bag that you... I have no idea. I was a 15, lot? I was 15. But, but it was...